What up, peeps? It's Anagram Gaming, and welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yesterday, we again tried to be a barista and failed, and we had construction going up on Main Street. And today, well, there might be a lot of things going on today, because I did some research yesterday to find out why, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, to find out why a um, barista wouldn't let me work uh, the 6th or the 7th. Well, here's the reason. Um, uh, any time between October 1st and 7th, there is a chance that, uh, Jack, the, uh, moniker of Halloween, so to speak, uh, I'm not sure I'm using that word right, um, Jack the, uh, sort of like, you know, Jack Skellington, <laughs> that's what he reminds me of anyway, um, he has a chance of appearing between October 1st and 7th, and that is considered a holiday. So, that's why Brewster wouldn't let me work. And today is October 8th. Hopefully he will allow me to work. And oh yes, I did get some coffee earlier. <laughs> I got some takeout coffee. It's just probably cold right now. Okay, anyway, two letters. One from Wolfgang and one from Flo. Let's read them. Uh, yeah, I came over to Wolfgang's house the other day. To Anna, thanks for coming over the other day. We're friends, you know? You can always be straightforward with me. Just show him serious. I send you a little gift. Take it. Later, Wolfgang. <laughs> Ah, yee! Okay, what's slows? What's up, Annie? You planning on sticking with the look you're going right now? Because I found some wallpaper that exactly fits your image. You should really give it a try. Later, Blow. Okay, so Wolfgang gave me a random item and Blow gave me some wallpaper. Okay, so Wolfgang gave me a spa chair. Ooh, that sounds cool. He wants me to relax, huh? Uh, what did Flo give me? A manor wall. Okay. I was sort of hoping for a kitty wall, but okay. Oh well. Um. So. One of the new things today, um, well, I haven't, uh, paid off the Zen bench, uh, entirely, but. Hey, Wolfgang's here, let's talk to him. Hannah, yeah, Snarl, so what's up? What's the latest, buddy? I've been having trouble catching a koi lately, you don't suppose they're extinct? They're not. They're just kind of rare. Maybe it's just me. I think maybe my fishing skills are rusty. Could you maybe fish up a good koi and bring it to me? Sure. You're not going to be koi with me, right? <laughs> really? Nice. I'll be waiting. Okay, so I'm going to try and catch a koi for him a bit later. Okay, so... As we walk up to Main Street... Silence for emphasis... There is a new store here! T.I.Y. As you may notice, the gardening shop is no longer there. Well, it's still there, Just it's just hidden. So, as you walk in through this, the uh, automatic doors... Uh, dang it. Hi, derp again. Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the great opening of T.I.Y. Come on in. So, as you can see, it's bigger. And we've got uh, four furniture items this time around. We've got a wall item. And we've got like, one wall item. Um, you can get two stationery, two carpet and wallpaper, uh, four tool, three tools and a medicine, and new to new leaf. You can get KK songs. So that's really cool too. And, uh, this shop has better hours. Um, it's open until 9 o'clock, same as the Able Sisters, which is awesome. Okay, so I also bought the fortune cookie. I got, like, uh, twice the fortune cookies I needed, but, yeah, I'll buy it. Alright, so, let me see what this, uh, fortune cookie is. Hope it's not a repeat. You cannot pull a value in your life unless you... Okay, so it's the coin again. At least it's not a repeat that keeps repeating. So, uh, DIY, it's supposed to be, a sort of a parody on, like, a DIY, like, do-it-yourself. Like, a. If they would have done, like, NIY, I would have understood, like, nook it yourself. <laughs> but DIY, uh, it's like a... Uh... Timmy and Tommy, you're 
it yourself? What? Uh, another coin. I don't know, as always, we got the wrapping paper. Um, I will get that spooky item over there. It is... Hold on a minute. A spooky vanity. I will take it. So. You might be wondering what's over here. If you go inside... Leaf is still there! Yay! Welcome. Ah, hey, hey, if it isn't Anna, were you perhaps a little surprised to see me here? Ah, uh, th isn't this place simply happy? Timmy and Tommy said they are going to make their shop bigger, so I had them include me, too. Since the shop is, all, is larger and all now, I thought I'd expand my inventory. Oh, yes, I've also decided to start up a weed pulling service. Oh, I've been waiting for that. I've given this place a lot of, uh, you know, you could say power-ups, so I hope you really like the improvements. Okay, so... <clears throat> he will still have a sapling. He will still have a watering can or an axe. Um, he will have two flowers. He will have uh, two, uh... Um, he will have bush starts. As well. And he will also have one, um... One a furniture item that uh, is a plant. Which is really cool. So that's awesome. So Leaf is not totally gone. How awesome is that, guys? Alright. So, TIY. Pretty awesome. I know, right? Look at it. It's so cool. It's like the Home Depot. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yeah, Dr. Shrunk joke. Good thing I have a fruit in my pocket. I have a perfect cherry in my pocket from a bit earlier. Because, uh, my perfect cherry, one of my perfect cherry trees died, and I, I sort of, um, I sort of preserved the fruit from that. Uh, I did plant a lemon tree in its place, because I only had one lemon tree. But I am going to plant another perfect cherry tree fairly soon. Uh, let you, let us give you the perfect cherry. Because it's the only fruit I have in my pocket. Perfect cherry, I love these so much! Oh my god, blah, 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 blah. What am I sounding like? I'm like Pokey Big, bidi 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 the doll, folks. <laughs> I, bet, I bet my voice impressions are killing you guys. Like, I did Pinky, and now I'm doing, uh, Porky Pig. <laughs> Alright, so, what is Dr. Shunk's joke? You can Shunk is in the house. I see the dogs don't think you with it. Okay, I think the Porky Pig voice suits him better. <laughs> Have you heard? Yawns are contagious. Oh boy, I'm gonna yawn soon. There was one day years ago when I was performing in front of a totally packed audience. Well, uh, packed would be a tiny exaggeration. I was performing in front of a good number of people, so I thought a serious special joke I've been saving. Okay, I'm not sure if this voice is fitting him. Just as those big guys would expect to have in the middle of the audience, let out a huge yawn. And so it just spread. From round to the yawn caught on closer and closer until. Yawn. Huh? What? Is Jeff is that doing again? <laughs> I nearly yawned at that. <laughs> so yawning the sleepy one! Yay! Sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. You mean like... After a long day? Ah, yawn! <sighs> I bet I'm killing you with my voice impressions. Like yesterday, I was doing. Jay, bye. What are we gonna do tonight? Not often now. Think, bidi bidi bidi. That's all, folks. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm gonna go to retail in a moment. I'm gonna go to retail like right now. Sell all this uh, stuff in my pockets, except for a couple things, uh, like my coffee cup. Oh yeah, all bulletin board. Um, today marks the grand opening of TIY over, over in the shopping district. We hope to see everyone there soon. And then there's the Zen bench, and there's my note from yesterday. Okay. So, uh, Red was in town today. I did, uh, purchase a statue. Um, there are actually, like, two paint- two, uh, art pieces in there that are real. I mean, there was a graceful painting that looked, like, really real, and then there was the ancient statue, which I bought, which totally looked real. Because it has eyes closed instead of open. 
Yeah, I'm doing my research, guys. Yay for me doing research. Oh, yes. Um, not selling the coffee. Uh, not selling the KK song either. Um, spot chair, manor wall, coin, spooky vanity. Let's start. Okay. Thank you, Reese. I think, uh, actually, uh, tomorrow. I think tomorrow, um, excuse me, um, I think, wait, what was I going to say? Oh, wait, dang it, I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. If it'll come back to me, I'll say it. Um, so, I kind of wanted to go to, um, Shampoodle, because, uh, remember the last time Harry had said that I would look over the boy's haircut? So, I figured I'd try that. And it's like a seven minutes before she closes, so perfect. Okay, so I don't have a complete rush before 8 p.m. I only have to visit uh, Kix and uh, Shampoodle and Nook's Homes before they close, and also Cobella Well. Alright. So. So, Harriet. Do this. Yeah, then what can I do for you today, sugar? I love doing the southern words. Can I update you look at the new hairstyle? And just leave it to me. And then she's gonna say the same thing. Yes! Alright then, I'm just home to be lost for a moment. By the way, Anna, looking at you closely, I don't think you look such a boss haircut, too. You're probably right. Yes, of course, I'm absolutely sure you could pull it off and look great. Then I'm gonna start talking as if you were a boy. Oh, yeah, so I unlock the other thing. Um, after you get several haircuts from Harriet, she will offer you uh, haircuts from, for the uh, the opposite gender, which that's kind of cool. Um, ahem. So I planned which uh, hair. Hey, at least the capper didn't crap out on me uh, earlier. So I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see a bit better. <clears throat> I think I'll try and do this at the start of every video, but I'm not sure if I'll remember. So if I was a boy. Who you wanna be? Let's tell me the other look you're hoping for. Okay, I planned this out, so casual it is. I see. Pretty casual then. Yeah, and she says casual mayor stuff. Um so I do look loose and wavy more on the stylish side. Loose and wavy. I see, I see, something loose. Now just one more question for you. Is the loose style thinking of loose to you that's trying to lay back guy? Or is it the guy who likes cute girly stuff and is afraid to show it? Who's totally confident? Lay back looseness. I see. Seems like your hair to be loose and lazy, then. Okay. Could be a picture of the hairstyle in my head now. Now then, you need to pick out a hair color. What kind of color it speaks to you? Uh, bright. A bright color is having one the following. Color sweet love, clear sky, new leaves, or angel wings. Uh, sweet love. Understood. Now I know exactly what you want. Let's start styling. Okay, let's see what I look like with this boy's haircut. <laughs> I hope it's really cool. Aw, oh, sweet! Look at that! <laughs> You're to both fabulous and totally different. It's like a little, uh, like a little cowlick hair. It's so cute. Let me 3,000 miles, please. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit, uh, shorter back. It'll be covered up on the Pikmin thing, though, so no one will notice. <laughs> Alright, so... That is awesome. I got a boy's hair, too. Um, let me see here. Um, do I want to go to Able Sisters? Um, actually, I think I'm going to try and see if Rooster will actually allow me to work. Because I researched this yesterday. Uh, he should allow me to work today. So, I will, uh, if I manage to, uh, be allowed work by Brewster, blah, be allowed work by Brewster, I'll see you guys then. Oh, yay! Uh, he did allow me to work! Okay, yes! Finally, I get to show you this, guys. I'm gonna be a barista! Yay! Alright, you have to make the coffee exactly as the customer asks. Cool. And I've got my trusty iPod here with my Animal Crossing app, so I know what I'm doing. I'm a Pikmin barista! Pikmin barista! <laughs> Can I have some coffee? Please use Blue Mountain Beans. Okay. So... Excuse me there. So he did not specify the amount of uh, sugar or milk he wanted. So he wanted Blue Mountain Beans. 
And according to the guide, he likes the uh, no milk and no sugar. So, so if this is right. Yay! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Freaking fun. Nice. This is perfect. This coffee is exactly my taste. Aw, yay! Hmm, I can feel my bladder coming from the fatigue after my last workout. Heh <laughs> you did a pretty good job. I'll be back, lamb chop. Okay, so there's my. Who's coming in? Oh, Nate! Hi, Nate! Coffee, please, with no milk. Okay, Nate. Okay, so according to the guide, he likes mocha. He said he wants, uh, no milk. So, by that conclusion, he wants no sugar. Let's try a sip. Ah, that hits the spot. This is just what I wanted to drink. Aw, yay, I'm getting things right. You drink it by the gallon. Thanks for the delicious coffee. Oh, bother. Okay, who's the next? Oh, Carmen! Hi, Carmen! I'm like totally dying for a cuppa. Can you give me a blue mountain? Sure, Carmen. Okay, so she wants blue mountain. Uh, according to the guide, she wants lots of milk and three spoonfuls of sugar. Very sweet coffee. <laughs> Actually, um, I think if I had coffee, it'd be like a a mocha with um. Hold on. Uh, if I had coffee, I'd it'd be like a a mocha with three spoonfuls of sugar and a regular amount of milk. All right, so let's have Carmen test out her coffee. Oh, you totally nailed it! I had no idea that a flavor could smell like trendy, but this is perfect! Oh, goodness, yay! Town like this? You could totally be the next Brewster! Oh, I'm like, a whole lot better! Oh my goodness! I don't know why I'm doing a valley voice for her. She says I could be a barista, yay! Alright, it's coming in. Oh, Kix! Hi, Kix! Oh my goodness, Kix! Come take away, please. I want only one spoonful of sugar for me. Okay. Kix, oh my goodness! Uh, that's so cool. He's getting a cup of coffee, like, as his work day ends. That's so cool. <coughs> um, his favorite blend is mocha. Uh, he likes no milk, and one spoonful of sugar. Yay! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe Kix came here. He's getting coffee after work. Oh, thanks, young miss. This is amazing! Oh my gosh, he's so happy! You're crockin' barista. <laughs> they actually use the word barista! You're crockin' barista, thanks. Oh my goodness, he actually called me a barista. I mean, um, I mean, uh, Carmen, um, Carmen actually said you could be the next Brewster. Kick flat out called me a barista. <laughs> Seems that the customer's not taken care of. Good work, Goo. Why don't you call it a day? Yay! Oh my gosh! Cannot believe I was able to show this to you guys. It's awesome. You were really fun with the coffee today, Koo. Excellent work. So now I'll pay you in superb coffee beans. These are the highest quality beans I stock. Uh, might sound like you get to make coffee, but no, these are actually selling item. Come on, I can help me again sometime. So yay! Got our first day of work as a barista. Yay! Oh my gosh, that was so cool. <laughs> I cannot believe I got kicks 
like the last one and he flat out called me a barista. Oh my goodness. I I'm so I'm so flattered. I did not mind to poke you with a shovel vesta. Well, it's already eight. Time flies when you're having fun, lamb chop, it's true. Actually, uh, my little brother told me this the other day. Uh this is lamb chop is actually the the catchphrase for Eunice, the sheep. So I was like, okay. Well, because lamb chop is the only thing I could think of. I was thinking of, you know, lamb chops playing along, if you know who, what that is. <laughs> Mr. Pesto, don't forget that this Saturday is the fishing journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be covering that, totally. Practice while you can, and I'm sure you catch a record number of big fish, sweet, eh? Nice. Well, let's talk to Astrid. I've talked to her a lot today, actually. What, you again, Belay? How many times has it been today, Crikey? She's kept the catchphrase for a long time, I'm glad. Let's talk about Belay. It's late. I don't know if you believe in luck, Belay, but I sure do. There's certain items I just know are lucky. I've worn a carry around all the time. For some luck, it goes really up with my outfits. What a coincidence. So if you find yourself in need of a lucky break or two, think about picking up a lucky charm. I find one that matches your eye color. You mean something that's black? Like a little black dress? <laughs> just kidding. So I am gonna pay off the rest of the uh, Zen bench like soon. But like I think tomorrow I may actually pay off my home loan so that you guys can see my home expanded at least one more time before um so you can see my house expanded at least um like one more time before um before I end off the series. I'm actually gonna hold my coffee. Today was a good work day. I'm actually gonna visit uh, Able Sisters. And I'm actually gonna sip my coffee in celebration of my first work day. Hey Mabel, hey Sable. Um, funny thing here, uh, they actually suck the ninja shirt and the ninja pants at the same time. So I'm buying them. Oh wait, not the wrestler pants. I meant the ninja pants that are right in front of me. I'll buy it. Alright. Let's go to next store. I did look to see if she, uh, if the label stocked a new, uh, a new, um, a uh, Halloween uh, hood, and she did! The skull cap! Or a skeleton hood, rather. And actually, I kind of... Let's try it on. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see this is our town of Halloween. Yes, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> uh, got... Nightmare Before Christmas is the best Halloween movie I've ever seen. Uh, Night Nightmare Before Christmas, FTW. And this reminds me of Jack Skellington, so I can sing. Oh, somewhere deep inside of these bones, an emptiness began to grow. Okay, so, and I actually came ac came across, a um, what was it? Oh, yeah, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas QR codes. So I may actually dress up as, um, like Jack Skellington or something on Halloween, so that's cool. Or Sally. <laughs> I'm sorry that I got carried away with seeing Nightmare Before Christmas songs. It's, it's, it's one of the best movies ever. Uh, how did I, why did I get this reading on? You can't really, uh, yeah. I accidentally bumped the 3D slider. Oops. Um. Could go to Club LOL, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Um, I wanted to sip my coffee. I think I know a good place to, to sip this. And if the Zen bench was built, I could uh, sip it on that. Oh, by the way, I need to cut down that tree. Um, 
I kind of need to, um, okay. Oh, wait, I was going to sip my coffee. Why am I going home? <laughs> so here's a good spot, right on the stump. I'm going to sip my coffee while looking like a Pikmin, enjoying the nice night. And, of course, a bunch of people just <laughs> come out of nowhere. Oh, well. Alright, so I actually did get to show you guys the barista thing. Yes, and I cannot believe Kix actually called me a barista. Okay. <sighs> okay, Kix is officially one of my new favorite characters in New Leaf. Well, he was introduced in City Folk, actually, but... Who cares? He's a new character to me. Um, so, oh yeah, I wanted to see what this new uh, KK song sounded like. Uh, it's called Forest Life. Let's listen. Whoa. for a bit. It's cool. It reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, so yay. I was actually going to show you guys something. Yay! Okay. I need to calm down a bit. Okay. So, I guess this wraps up the video now. Uh, tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, but I might be showing you the, um, I might be showing the barista thing again. Because, you know, why not? Uh, different animals could come in. And, uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what else, um, uh, to be honest. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I will change my clothes, because I'm, st I'm still a Pikmin. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, how awesome is that? I got to be a barista today. I got to see the new, uh, Home Depot-ish-esque store in, <laughs> in the game. I call it Home Depot-ish because it, it's like a do it yourself first store. Because, yeah, um... <laughs> okay, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, I got an idea for tomorrow. Maybe I can go through my museum and show you how I've been coming on that. Because, um, it's coming along really well. I actually have only three fossils to get before the ex the fossil exhibit is complete. So that's awesome. Um, I still have a ways to go on the art, and a bit of a ways to go on the insects and fish, but I'm sure that I'll be able to, uh, get some new ca- net some new catches fairly soon. Hopefully, like, uh, like more fish on the island, like, uh, like I did with the, uh, Napoleon fish and the whale shark. Oh! If you don't believe me, take a look at my encyclopedia. Hold on a sec. Here's the Napoleon fish. It looks very stupid. <laughs> and here is the whale shark. I actually heard whale sharks, although they're like super big, they're fairly harmless. I learned that from the museum. So yay, I didn't have to Wikipedia things. Okay. So tomorrow, I believe I'll be going to the museum and we will also be doing other animal stuff. You know, other, uh, like stuff with the animals. Also, I think I'll be, uh, completing the Zen Bench tomorrow, so that's exciting, and also paying off my, uh, my home loan, so we will be able to see, um, so tomorrow we'll go to the museum, talk to the animals a bit, and, um, 
I'll pay off the, um, I will, um, I'll try to pay off the Zen Mensch tonight, but I'm not sure. If I don't end up paying it off tonight, I will, uh, pay it off, like, um, like, uh, tomorrow. So that on the last day of the, the regular LP, we'll be able to see my house expanded, and we'll be able to see the Zen Bench. So that's cool. And yes, I'll still be building the fountain. After a long day of work, I think it's time for <sighs> rest. See you guys tomorrow. Ooh. Signing off with Pikmin! <laughs>